I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Last race number eight, and uh, hopefully things go according to plan. Time-wise, we close the meeting off at 20 to 5. It's over 1,900 meters, uh, which means it's an E-Division class merit-rated 67 handicap. Before we get to the field, let's go to the interview package. Yeah, Royce Rocker with the draw number one. Uh, when end the weight, we'll have a very uh, good chance. Now look, I don't think there is much of a difference, you know, on turf and, and Polly. It's just that the races always present themselves on Polly for her where she's rated. Uh, she'll see out the distance. Uh, she's an honest little filly. She did have one bad run before her, her last start. But I just think that was she was off on the day and she came back to form last time out. And I think she'll give a good account of herself again. Yeah, she had a bad draw last time out and we just opted to drop her out the race and she turned far too far out of her ground. If you look at her form, her last run over this distance at Gravel, she ran a very good third in quite a competitive E-Division Phillies race and I think reproducing that, that run, she can run into the first four. Well, one has to make your play, uh, whatever bet you are taking. If you're an exotic player, you try and look for the banker to minimise your spend. And I've gone with one horse here, Devon. I know that Garrett Frenzel looks to have a strong hand with number two, the apple of my eye, and number four, two, love's kiss. And Gavin Darina has got to know true love's kiss, having partnered her the last two starts. And uh, she may just be looking for this type of ground. But I am going to bank at the source in everything. And uh, if I survive to this point, it's going to be very nervous moments in whatever bets because this source, the apple of my eye from uh, the stable of Garrett Frenzel with Richard for re -up. You know, Gavin has partnered two loves kiss last two starts and uh, Richard has partnered the apple of my eye at the last two starts. So I think against this type of field, the one run that will grab your attention is that penultimate start at Devon where she was drawn 12 out of 12 and she came from a hopeless position. He had no option but, you know, just to leave her at the back of the field and she was the fastest finisher that day behind last Ginger uh, who is doing well. And, and then last time out I thought it was a fair run. I know that it says that she took no interest and nothing obvious reported from the vet but nevertheless it was a good run. At this course drawn to with the form that she brings into the race the fact that she was heavily supported last time out i'm going to make her the banker in everything i like her a lot and i think that she is the way to go to close things off in race number eight yeah it does form part of my top um, three selections i, I like your third analysis or second or first <clears throat> it's third oh it's <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the top three. I've gone four. That's True Love's Kiss. Yes. Number seven, Last Ginger. Yes. And number two, The Apple of My Eye. Now, I definitely believe that number two is a massive runner here. It'll be no surprise to see a horse like this win. It's just that last time I was a little bit disappointed with that run behind Burmese Tiara. I expected her to, to win the last time, Dees. Yes, I know. And I know. I know what you're saying. But, you know, what? when Richard came back, I'm sure it was from him, uh, you know, he reported no interest. Yes, so there and was then, excuses. And the vet had a look. The vet had a look because, <clears throat> you know, she didn't run badly. You know, when a horse runs fought beaten under two lengths, you don't expect there to be a vet check and that type yes. of thing. But he obviously felt that she wasn't the horse that he felt at his penultimate start, at a penultimate start, you know. That, that, that's the way you see it. Because he got a feel for her when he first rode her. Yes. And maybe he felt like it wasn't the same type of action uh, at a second start. And therefore, uh, he did the right thing and reported. Yeah, no, 100%. Hopefully, uh, all the boxes are ticked and uh, she'll be spot on on the day the apple So you bring with the stable companion. Yeah, I just thought that last run was very good coming from draw 10 out of 11, finishing 1.35 lengths behind Ideal Gift, currently trading at around about 9 to 2 in the fixed odds betting market. You touched on the fact that Gavin Lorena knows the horse exceptionally well, has got a beautiful pedigree as well. 
if I'm not mistaken, Maleficent, the mother, was trained by um, Alec Led. If I'm not mistaken, Correct. that was a very, very good horse. And I remember the horse coming here to run in some features down in KwaZulu Natal. But healthy respect for number two, the apple of my eye. I won't be taking any chances. I don't have a banker in anything. So mm. I'll be throwing these three horses in. Number four, True Love's Kiss. Numbers two, um, the apple of my eye. And number seven, Last Ginger. Okay, Devon's giving you his numbers in order of preference. Four, seven, and two. I'm going to give you a quartet in this race. Race number eight, two, a banker. Banker for which position? First. Uh, 1, 4, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 1, 4, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's 2, 4, 6, 7 runners for second, third, and fourth. And that cost will be 7 times 6. If you want to play a trifecta, will cost you 42 Rand. Or 7 times 6 times 5. If you want to play the quartet, which will cost you 210 Rand. And always remember, on the tote, you can play a percentage. That's a wrap, Devon. That's how it ends things off. Yeah, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure working alongside uh, Dee's Dianand and uh, hopefully we managed to point the punters in the right direction and there could be some good value there, Dee's. Yeah, some nice racing at Hollywood Bats Gravel on the Sunday, the 21st of April for Devon Gavinder, the Gallup TV preview team and myself, Dee's Dianand. To you, the valued racing fan, thanks for your invaluable support of the tote. And uh, hopefully it turns out to be a wonderful Sunday for you if you are racing at Hollywood Bets Grable. Find all the winners, make a huge profit. And until we meet again, you take care. Salanika Ashley. Uh, my name is Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet, who just want to be part of the change.